Gemara and Irvin Daf Sadi Gimel. Just a quick reminder: if anyone who had any issues with Torah anytime, a few people reached out. Of course, the Shear is also available on all podcast platforms and as well on YouTube. You could click subscribe if you like to get the Shear a little bit easier. Of course, the Shear should be sponsored for all our Chaylim Yudemir Ben Yikir Men Ruvi Chaim Chaim and Sarshom Simon Yizedol Sar Baskin Ende Bezim Zchayzei Yuschem Sarezi Yisol B'Medalev Tzitzalev Shem Yisam Aviv Shafig Yir Chana Follow me need to read the Niyav Chana Rezol Leave a very about to be a Musa Beisay Shachli Yisrael. We pick it up in the bottom of. Sadi Beis, Men Beis, we're in the middle of discussion that Abayi cannot fathom that a machitza will make something more usher. That is what we saw yesterday that Abayi said, Amrle Abayi in the bottom of Sadi Beis, Men Beis, Men Kinnam Atzina Machitza Le'isser. It comes out that a machitza comes out to hurt you. And Abayi didn't like that. How is that possible? We're trying to prove this point. So Amrle Rava, Abayi on the last line, Vloi Matzina Machitza Le'isser. Are you telling me that it's not possible that a machitza never comes to make usher? Vloi Itmar, but we we learned when we don't to study Gimel, Amr Aleph, today's Dav, Sikeich Al Gabi Sadra. If someone puts Chach on top of an Aksadra, on top of a platform, Sheyesh La Ptsimim, that has these little uh, Ptsimim, that has these posts, Kshirat is Kosher. Again, so what's the case? Let's just go straight to the picture. Here is basically an Aksadra, this two walled creature. But on the third wall, there's a little post, a little tefach on the third wall, like you can see in this picture. And the truth is, in this picture, you also can see similarly, you see jutting out of the last wall, the little seam and the little post. Says the Gemara, that's going to be good. However, if you hishve b'simel, but if you if you flatten out the b'simim, then it is possible. Like you see over here, that if you make it straight down that wall, then you effectively removed your post. Then what do you do? Like you see also over here, that you just made it straight down the walls, that you no longer, longer have those posts on the ends, and then it's going to be possible. So says Rav Tabayi, cl clearly we see that when you add on, it yes, makes it possible. Amrle Abaye by answers Lidi Dik Shera. First of all, I hold in that case is kosher. You see, pick ticker yeah, the same. same. Says Abaye, I'm not bothered by your question. Lidi Dach, you argue. And you say that that case of this platform is puzzle. Sealing Machitza, see, it's not really because you added on walls, but rather the reason is because it's just removing of a wall. Again, like you see over here in this case, you have this little tafach. And what happens when you build off that side wall? What you're effectively doing is you're removing the wall, says Abaye. Like you see over here, it's over here, and therefore it's not exactly um, building a wall. And this is the reason why, according to Abayi, it would be a kosher sukkah, as you see in this picture, because Pitikar Yoyim Yisaisim goes down and effectively closes off that third wall. Amrli Rava continues to Gabara Rava says, Amrli Rava Rechana Labayi. So we try again. We don't find the case of Machitza that's Aser Batanya. We learned in Abraisa. Yes, we have a house of chetzi of mikura, a chetzi of ina mikura. Half of the house has a roof, and half house of the house does not have a roof. What's the halach? Gefanim kan, motel israya kan. If you have green vines on one part of this uh, house, motel israya kan. You let a plant greens on the other fine, greens on the other side of the van. But if it was equal, Aser. Again, let's pull up the picture and then we're going to explain. As you see over here, that if you have a roof over half a house and over the under the roofed area, let's say you have grapevines. Similar to Allah, we learned yesterday of Kalei Karim that you're not allowed to have two species close to each other. So you have grapevines in one area, you're not allowed to be allowed to have greens in the other area. However, when there's no roof, then we say, the edge of the roof goes down and effectively closes off that area, and now the grapevines are in a separate shus, I'll be mutter. However, when you flatten off the roof, then it's going to be aser. So says Rav Tabai, we clearly see that having more mechitzais, yes, makes it aser. Amr again, achsam, sealing mechitzah, so you're not actually building a mechitza, you're just removing the mechitza. So, so far, where Abai is hold his own, says Abai, can't be the adding on mechitzas is going to answer you. Says the Gemara Shachli Rav Abaye. Rav said to Abaye, "Biyad Rav Shmaya Bar Zira." V'loy matzino mechitzal isra. Another question again. Pestering Abaye. Abaye said it can't be a mechitza answers. We try another one. Attempt number four. For a time we learned in the rice. Yesh mechitzas I carry him lahakel. 
Ula Hachmer. There are cases of partitions with regard to Karim, regard to Klayim Karim, like we started discussing. Sometimes it is a Kula, Lahakel. Sometimes it is a Chumra. Ketzad, what's the case? Karim, to add Iker Mechita. If you have the grapevines that's planted all the way up to a wall, the, be- the base of a Mechita, then Zoyreya, Iker Mechita, Veilach. Then you let a plant, the grain, right next to the wall. You have a real wall. He let a plant straight up to the wall. She'ilu ain't sha mechitza. If there was no mechitza, marchit al ramos is ereya. You'd have to distance yourself for amis. Zeh mechitza karem lo hakel. So that's the kulam. Like you see over here in this picture. Um, I'm sorry. You do not see in any of these pictures. I apologize. Basically, very simple. You have a wall, and you plant it straight up to that wall. Very simple. So says the Gemara, if there was no wall, you'd have to wait four hours between the two species. But now that there's a wall, you got to go straight up to the wall. One side shifts the wall. The other side, that's a case of Mechiz HaKerem, L'Hakel. So far, so good. And here's going to be the question. Last narrow line. What's the case that's going to be a Chumra? Yud We discussed this many blots ago, that you're drawing off of the wall 11 Amis. Then, what is that, Lacha? Lo Yavi Zera Lisham. It's 11 Amis between the grains or the grapes and the wall. Don't bring the greens over there. Why? Shalmali in Machiza Machidal Amis Zerea. If there was no Machiza, you would have to just wait four Amis. And yet here, there is a Mechitza, so we seem to need 11 Amis. So this is the case that the Mechitza is going to be L'Chomra. So now, fine. So we prove the case of Mechitza L'Chomra, again, because in the case of the Mechitza, we're saying now that you need 11 Amis, whereas when there are no Mechitzas, you just wait for Amis. But now the Gemara proves this case. Where do we see that this is actually true? It says the Gemara of Zui Mechitza Karim L'Chachmir. Amr Lehi, so Abayi responded, Ule Taimeich, and according to your reasoning, Oisim Imasti, son, ask me in a Mishnah. You ask me for this price, so ask me straight for a Mishnah. The Tanah, the Mishnah we learned a long time ago, Karachas HaKarem, the Karachas, the bald spot, the clearing in the vineyard. Bisham Yoyimrim, how big does that hole? Again, we have our whole field. I'm sorry, we have our whole field. And we're leaving a blank area in the middle so we can plant another species. It says, Bishamai, that middle area has to be 24 Amis. Bishamai, Yavru Chavdal Amis, he said, Lerm Rim Tezayin Amo, 16 Amo, that's if you have a hole in the middle. Machol HaKerem, says the Gemara, but let's say you have the, uh, you're leaving a space on the perimeter. You want to leave this place blank on the perimeter of this field. Bishami Ayrim Tezayin Amo, Bishal Ayrim Yudbi Zamo. Bishami says you need 16 Amois, Bishal says you need 12. Bishami Karach Zakarim, Salik Mark explains further what is this case of a bald spot in the vineyard? Karim Shacharev MC Asai, a Karim, a vineyard at the middle is barren. In the Hinsham, 16 Amois, Tezayin Amo, according to Bish Shamai. If you don't have 16 Amois, you're not allowed to plant there. And my Yisham Tezayin Amo, noise like the Avadasai. Let's say there are 16 Amis in the middle. What do you do? You leave the area of Kedai Avadasai, which we've learned, is the area so that you can walk around with your animal to plow the field, which is four Amis. Bizoireya is Amaisar. And then you plant the rest. And we continue in this Raisa. And what is the case of the perimeter of the vineyard that you're leaving empty? Bein Karim Legadar, they have to leave between the vineyard and the wall. Shemein Shem Yerbe Izam Ali Avizar Lisham, that if there's not 12 Amais, you're not allowed to plant another seed over there, a different species. However, Hayisham Yerbe Izam, let's say there was 12 Amais there, then nice like they have a Dasai. The Zayreyas Amaisar, leave over four Amais and you plant the rest. So the guy, Abai is asking back to Rabbi, you Rabbi just seemingly asked me from a case of a Brisa that we saw over here on the first wide line. The Rabbi said to Abai, hey, that when you have a wall, you need 11 Amais. When you don't have a wall, you have to have four Amais. Abai responded, what are you asking me from a Brisa? Ask me straight from this Mishnah. Ella, so Abai continues. Again, this is Abai's way of, of defending himself. Ella, Abai says back to Rabba, what's the reason you didn't ask me for this Mishnah? Ella, Hassam, Lava, Inu, Taima. The reason is, the Chol, Dalit, Amis, Legabe, Karim, Avo, Itazak, Karim, Legabe, Gedar, Kivin, Toi, Mizdarn, Avkurim, Avkur, Luhu, Tabini, Ubeini. Says the Gemara, what's the reason you didn't ask me for the Mishnah? The Chol, Arba, Amis. Every 
For Amos the Gabi Akarim, Avoy Das Akarim. That is the area that you need to work the vineyard. Why do you have to leave four Amos blank? Because that's the area that you need to plow the field. Ligabe Geder. And then with regards, when it comes to a wall, why do you need more area? Because you can't plant straight up to the wall because you're going to break the wall. Ligabe Geder. Kivan Lo Nizderon. Since it's going to ruin the wall. Afkurim Afkulu. You don't plant all the way up to the wall. Okay. The Baini Ubaini and the area that's between the two, meaning we said that you're planting and you're planting and you're leaving a barren area in the middle. We'll show a picture in a minute. Ega Dalin Chashivan. If there's a four ama area to actually plant, after you leave over the four ama to plow, the four ama to plow, if you have four ama to plant, that's Chashiv Eloi, Loi Chashivan. So by answer that the reason why you're giving the extra space for the wall is not a chumrah on the wall. Again, let's first look at a picture and then we'll explain what's going on over here. This is the case of the karachas that you're leaving a clearing in the vineyard. Basil says you need 16 amas, as you see over here. You need four amas in order to plow. Another four amas, the other side, another to plow. Basil says you need extra area. You need eight amas in the middle for a field. This is the case of the perimeter of the vineyard, this picture should be familiar. I believe this is the picture that we had back then. That you see over here, the next to the wall around the perimeter, you're leaving four amas to support the wall, because if not, it's going to destroy the wall. And that's the machlegs, which I mean, still how much air you need to plant. Is it four? Is it eight? As well as in the middle. So now again, what was the Gemara's question? The Gemara's question was that seemingly we see in this b'risa, the Rava said to Abaye, we seemingly we see this b'risa that when you have a wall, you need more area. And that's the question, because Abaye used to that walls cannot add up to make an iser. We see over here when you have a wall, you need more area. That was Rava's question to Abaye. Abaye responded, Rava, if you're asking me about a case of a wall in the vineyard, Ask me straight for the Mishnah. So why didn't you ask me for the Mishnah, says Abai? You know why you didn't ask me for the Mishnah? Because the Pasha the answer. Because this case of Klai Karim is a different reason. Because by Klai Karim, no, you need to leave extra room to the wall. Because you practically, if you plant seed all the way up to the wall, it's going to bust open the wall. You don't want to do that. That's why you leave open an extra Order to and then you need another four amos to plant the area, but it's not because the wall is creating the situation. Says the Gemara, Amar Rabbi Yehuda. I'm going to have you going into a new topic. Gimel Garfifa Zu Bisadza. We have three enclosures, a Karfif, a closure that we've discussed extensively, one next to another. Ushnaim Achisaini is Megufafim, and the two outside ones are a little bit larger. We're going to see the pictures in a moment. The two outside ones are fenced off. And the middle one is not fenced off. This is a singular person in each one of these enclosures. Kishayara. This is like a case of a Kishayara, case of an encampment. Remember, we spoke about an Erev Shabbos. It's getting late. You just pack down, sit, set up shop, Erev Shabbos. You put your strings around and you make yourself a Yerushas to live on Shabbos. Be a nice line called Tarkan, and then you could get all the area that you need to walk. That is the first case of this Brysa. That is the first case of this price. Let's pull up a picture over here. See over here, this is the case that you have Karfib on one side, Karfib on the other side, as well as the middle. But the outside guys, we said that they're more enclosed. And then, and let's just show the next case. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what happened over here. We don't have, oh, there it is. This is going to be, this is actually a little bit easier to see. Then you see Gimel Garfiv and Zebisadza, and the two outside guys are Megufafim, and the middle one is not Megufafim, the middle one is not enclosed. Again, Megufafim means you have those poles, means it's more enclosed. You see over here, the outside guys are enclosed, the inside guy is not. And each one has a singular person, so we said it's like a Shayara, and you get Kol Tarkon. And then over here, you see a similar picture, but here is when the middle one is Megufaf. As you see over here, the middle one is a little bit fatter, a little bit larger, and that's because the middle one has these extra walls on it, and then this is going to be the next case of the Gemara. Says the Gemara, Vadai, Kol Targan, Vadai am soy megufaf, I'm sorry, Udi am soy megufaf, and in a case that the middle one, actually, they say that Vadai, Vadai, I have written down over here, Vadai am soy Vadai, <clears throat> One more time. Vadai em sa'i magufaf. In a case, it's certainly the din is true of em sa'i magufaf. If the middle one is fenced off, who's the echid? Sa'i nem ena magufaf him. Viachavazah, viachavazah. And each one has a singular person. Viachavazah. Ain't no islam el be sheish. Then all you're going to get is going to get six saw. Because as we've learned many times, that each car faith cannot exceed the two saw. Live it. 
So then in that case, each one's going to get two saw, two, four, and six. So now, after laying out the law, the Gemara now wants to know, five lines to the bottom. What is the halacha? When we have one person in one outside, another person, I think we might have a picture of this. No, we don't, but you can just visualize it. One person on this outside, one person on that side, and there's two people in the middle. Do we say that these outside guys get as much area as they want? That is the Shaila of the Gemara. Says the Gemara, Ilah Nafka. Are you going to tell me that when the two guys in the middle one, Ilah Nafka, it's the two guys in the middle, when they go to the outside, then the outside one's going to have three. Not the Ilah Nafki, it's Then he's going to have three. And Ilah Havai, Tlas Havai. And if he goes out the other door, then he's going to have three. And therefore, each of the outer ones can have as much area as they want. Or do we say, Or do we say, no? Do we say that one goes into one, and one goes into the other one, and then none of them have three, and therefore you only get two beisa? Again, this really reminds us of the old demon that we've seen, that when you have three people, it's a rabim, then you get so cold sark, and you get as much area as you want. But when it's not three people, but rather it's only two, then you do not. So in this case, when you have two in the middle and one on either side, what do we say? Do we say that the two guys in the middle go together to either side? Therefore, you'll have three or three, and therefore you get, get as much air as you want? Or do you say no, that they're going to split up and go one either way? The in Tim Salaim, the Gemara continues. And if you're going to say, that they're going to split up and only have two on either side, they really only get two, so you don't get a full as much as you need. So now flip it. You have two on the outside and two in this house and one in the middle. Now what do you say? No. For sure, in this case, if he goes right, you have three. If he goes left, you have three. If he goes left, you also have three. Oi, Delma, therefore, what do we say? Maybe we should say, if everyone has a rabbin, and therefore you get as much area as you want. Oi, Delma, or perhaps, maybe you don't know, maybe it's a suffix. You're not sure. Which way it's going to go, and therefore neither of them should be able to get this area. So again, we have two cases of Sveikas. When we have two guys in the middle, do we say that they split up? Or when we have two guys in the outside and one in the middle, do we say that we're allowed to view them as if we'll go both ways? Or it's a suffix and we have to be machmir. Says the Gemara of Elchasa, and what is the halacha bayan likula? Is that we're going to be nickel in our questions, and both questions, therefore we're going to be able to assume that the outside guys have a rabbim of three, and therefore give them as much area as they need to carry. Amar of Chista, moving along to a new topic, flipping over to Sadi Gimel Amad Beis within two weeks to the end of the Masechla, says the Gemara, Gidod Chamisha, Umechit Chamisha, a new case. You have a wall of five tfachim, and you have a embankment of five tfachim, or an elevation of five tfachim, I should say. In mitzarfin atchu aikula begidod aikula mechitza. It does not combine until you have everything as an elevation or everything as a mechitza. Let's get a picture up over here. It's very simple. Over here, you see gidod chamisha. You see five are elevated, and another five is the actual mechitza. I actually think we have a bit of a no. We don't have a. I thought we had a bit of a better, yeah, it's a little bit of a better picture. You see over here that the bottom is just elevated in, into the top chatzar. Then the top chatzar is another five tefach wall. So do we allow those two areas to combine or not? Obviously giving us the requisite area of ten tefachim for a machitza. Says the Gemara, Nesvei. Nesvei. We have two chatzeris, one above the other. And the Elyayna is on top of the Tachtayna Ten Tvachim. Oi, or another case. And again, that's going to be one case that's going to be considered its own Rishas. Oi, Shish Megidul Chamisha, Mechitz Chamisha. Or in a case where you have five and five. What's the halacha? Ma'arvin Shnayim Vin Ma'arvin Echad. They're considered two different Rishuyais. So what do we see clearly? We see clearly that when you have an elevation of five and you have a wall of five, that it does not work. It's not called that it all works together. So says the Gemara, says the Gemara, Amar Rava, I'm sorry, I think I might have just, Pachis Mikan, yeah, I pulled up a little short. One more time. Let's say it's less than that. Let's say it's less than that. Then you're not going to be allowed to make one Mechitza. So what do we see? We see that the two areas, I'm sorry if I said this backwards, we see that the two areas, the elevated area and the wall, 
do yes combined. And therefore, if together they're ten tvachim, then great. And if not, then it's not going to be good. So this answers the Gemara. Amar Rava, or Amar Rav, different Gersais over here. Umayda Rav Chista, Rav Chista admits, B'tachtoyna, in the case of the 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 lower chaser that in that case for sure the elevation and the wall will combine. Why? Because the guys on the bottom, they at the end of the day, when they look, what do they see? They see a wall of ten tefachim. They see an elevation plus a wall. So the guys on the bottom says of Chista, they for sure have a din of a mechitz of ten tefachim. Says Gemara, one second. Then the bottom guy should be a separate Roshos. Very simply. If I'm sitting over here and I look to the right, what do I see? A 10 Tefach wall. It's really only a 5 Tefach wall plus another 5 Tefach of elevation. So says the Gemara, so I'm my own Roshos. Says the Gemara, great. So if you're your own Roshos, you have to make a separate Arab. You're not making an with them. The guys at the top. Because they have nothing to do with me. So then the question is, but the price that says that no, that the guys at the top are able to make their own air. Answers the Gemara. Amar Rav Bar Ula, Ki Goyin Jai Yisrael, Yoyna Migu Fefes, Ad Eser Amois, that the case is that they have a border around until 10 Amois, and therefore, that's going to be the case that they're going to be able to make an Erev onto their own, because they are considered their own Roshos. The Gemara is not happy. What about the Seifa that says, If it's less than that, then you have to make one big ear, and you can't do it separately. Says the Gemara, one second. Tarif. He buy a tray to Ariv, says the Gemara, it doesn't work either way. That according to Rabbi Arav Ula, that the upper Chatzar, it has its own, has its own walls around it. We said it's Miku Fafas. So what shall Allah be? He buy a Chat Ariv, that if they want to make a single layer, they could. And if they want, they should be able to make two separate Ariv's. So why does the price to say that they can't make separate Ariv's? Amar Rabbi Breda Rava says the Gemara ki goin shenifsa tachtayna b'malu alel yaina. Ah, okay, very good. You just told me that the top guy is on chaseris. We know what happened. The bottom one busted open onto the oh, oh, the top one, and therefore that's why the bottom guys can't make their own ear because their wall fell down. Says the Gemara one second. That also doesn't work. Yachit tachtayna chad tiarev treilo tiarev. So the bottom guys should only be able to make their own ear. They shouldn't be able to combine with the other guys. El yoyna yibayi trey arev yibayis chat arev. And the top guys should either be able to get together or not. So Gemara says we're stuck again. Answers the Gemara. Ein achanami. You're correct. One second. Vachikatani. But the rice doesn't fit with the rice. So Gemara says let's fit into the rice. That which we said in the Brisa, that if it's less than 10 Tvachim, then you have to make an ear with one and you can't make an ear together. It's only referring to the guys in the bottom and it's not referring to the entire top and bottom Chatzar. Again, this is the case, and let's, let's just, in a very primitive picture, let's just look at this for a minute. If I'm in Chatzar A on the bottom over here, the story is when I look up, I see a full wall. Whereas when you're in Chatzar B, what do you see? You see nothing. You just see five Tvachim. That was the dilemma of the Gemara. How are we going to view this? Are we going to view that Chatzar A is its own, has its own, uh, own uh, walls or not? Here is another, again, the same case that we saw before. And this is another case that Kula Begidud, as you see over here, then know that the whole thing is elevated. And that was the reason why we said that they for sure, the El Yoyna, right? If you look over here, this is the El Yoyna, the top guys, they for sure have their own area because they have this elevated wall. And now let's continue with the Gemara. Darash, Mereimar, as we close off today's daf, Darash, Mereimar, Mereimar, Darash in the following case. Gidud Chamisha, Umechitza Chamisha. Again, what we've been talking about the whole time, you have an elevated ear of five tvachim, and you have a chitz of five tvachim. What's halacha? Mitzarfim, the two of them combine. Ashkar Ravina, the Ravacha, Brit Ravacha, the son of Rava, Amar Lehi, he said to him, Tini mar midi mechitza. Teach me something about a mechitza. Amar Lehi, Lehi, he said, no, I don't think that mechitza is kosher. You just taught me a five tefach elevation, a five tefach walls, good mechitza. Says, I disagree. The Helchasa says, what is the halacha? 
Practically, at the end of the day, they do together form to be a valid, a kosher, mechitza, a partition of ten tvachim, even though it's really only five, and five is because it's built on an elevation. A new case says, Ravisha, what is the story that if we have, an, we have a chatzar, we have a bunch of houses open at the chatzar, we all made one big year of chatzeris, everything is good, you know what happens? On Shabbos, some guy shows up, says, hey, I'm moving in. What is Allah? Does he ask or ask? Because now we have an ear of Chatzim, you should have one of the people who lives there. Or maybe no, go to the beginning of Shabbos. Amar Rav Chista, Tashima, let's bring a raya. Chatzim, Gedele, Shinefer, Salih, Kitana, we have a large Chatzim, and this is obviously why this is brought down over here, that's opened up into a smaller Chatzim, Gedele, Mutter, Salih, Kitana, Asura. The large one is Mutter, because they have their walls. And the Kitana, as we've said many times, their fourth wall is completely nifritza lemakim ha'asrullah, completely blown open, nifritza asr. Mimnei kibischa shal g'dayla, cause the small guy is the doorway, is auxiliary to the larger one. Amar Raba says, oh, so I'm sorry, so what's the raya over here? We see that in this case, it sounds like even though even though Kipischa Shal Gedela, it sounds like it's Nifrasa, right? What does it say? It says that the smaller Chatzar is Nifrasa Le Gedela, it's busted open to the Gedela. So it says the Gemara, it sounds like that it happened on Shabbos. Seemingly, this Kitana became somewhat connected, become a one with the large one on Shabbos, and yet we're saying it works. We're saying it's not an issue. Seemingly, we see that even when you, yes, come on Shabbos, it's going to answer it. Again, I'm sorry, let me say that one more time. We said in this case that the Gedayla, the large chats are allowed to carry. But are the people in the Kitana, the small chats are allowed to carry? We said no. Why are they not allowed to carry? Because it's Nifritza. That fourth wall is fully open into the Gedayla. What do we see? The Gemara thinks right now that it happened on Shabbos. It was opened up on Shabbos. And yet we say, you're going to answer up the Kitana. Seemingly, if people come on Shabbos, it's going to answer. Says Rabbi, no. Let's say that one did it happen. It happened during the day. Says says Imar. Do not say Imar. I could say Ella. Rather, rather for sure happened during the day. Meaning, don't say Imar. I'll suggest maybe it happened during the day. No, if Vade happened during the day, how can I prove that? The Amar, the Amar, because you all buy me name Rav Huna, buy me name Rav Yuda. Ear of Derech Habezach, Minister Mabezach, Ear of Derech Chaloy, Minister Mabezach, Mahu. We discussed this that if you make an ear through a window, through a doorway, and then it gets closed up, what's Allah? Formerly Shabbos, Kivon, Jehotra, Hotra. That is Allah. It goes when Shabbos begins. And therefore, in this case, what do we have to say? We can't say that it got opened up on Shabbos. You have to say it got opened up an hour of Shabbos because the Kaivea, that which determines what you need in your Erev Chatsi rice, is at the onset of Shabbos. Pick up a year of tomorrow. Everyone should have a fabulous day.